Hi, I'm John Maher. I'm with Reset, a nonprofit that pro puts professional scientists, technologists, engineers, and mathematicians in elementary schools, work with the kids on hands on science and math activities. Our goal is to get the children excited about science and hopefully we'll consider careers in, uh, in such fields. Uh, during the coronavirus shutdown, when I'm shooting this video, we're showing activities that uh, parents can do at home with their children using materials that are commonly found around the house. For this one, I have a six foot long piece of paper. I'm using a uh, packing material that came in a delivery box, a um, spritzer bottle, a mask, and a mark. And if needs be, there's uh, tape to it. put your paper down on the floor or the ground. So we're going to talk about breathing out and when we do we create an aerosol um, that carries not only air with it, they're small liquid droplets that also have over 250 organic chemicals. I read up on that, I didn't know that, and as well as germs and viruses. So with this pandemic we're being recommended to wear a mask. So first thing I'm going to do here is spray a water bottle into the mask and observe if any goes on the paper and it does not. And I don't know if you can see it from here, but uh, I use colored red water in the spray bottle, spritzer bottle. Um, so it would show up on this mask. I'll bring that up a little closer to the camera later. Now I'm just going to put it uh, on the ground here, the bottle, and I'm going to do a small spray, uh, just like half a squeeze. And that's to represent a small cough. So, and then I'm going to mark the furthest droplet I see on the paper here. And that's here. And then I'm going to give it a full squeeze, like a really heavy duty cough. Let's see how far that goes here. And the farthest droplet I see is here. So let me get the camera, show you where these are relatively. The small cough here and the large cough there. And then the inside of the mask where the red water, let me focus a little better there, was. Um, so. What we're rep replicating here is the action of breathing out, um, carrying liquid do droplets or aerosols while we um, breathe, and why we want to wear a mask at this time to keep those aerosol uh, droplets from spreading to other people since they can be carrying the very infectious coronavirus um, during this time. Thanks for uh, doing this week's experiment. I'm going to follow up with a video of the... Um, uh, this, year, this week I'm actually going to take a video in the pond, see if we can see some of these uh, tadpoles in the pond, as well as a still pic of one of our um, tadpoles that's metamorphosizing into a frog. So thanks again and tune in next week for another STEM activity. So this is a video of the garden pond. I don't know if you're able to see the tadpoles slightly below the surface. Some of them coming to the surface to get food, which is organic matter, likely tiny bugs or leaf parts. It's just hard to get a good view from. There's one coming up by that leaf. 
unless you have 